been a fairly productive morning. I have everything fed. I have everything watered. My two lambs are doing good. Um, I have painted the border on three signs. One side of three signs. So while I'm waiting for it to dry, so I can put a second and then third coat on, Apparently we have to put the white on first and then the blue because the white doesn't want to cover the blue. Anyway, um, while I'm waiting for that to dry, I, it's been a while since I checked on my sheep out here. They have quit bringing themselves in at night, which is my indication that they are finding enough to eat out here that they're not coming looking for feed anymore. So thank you, spring. And um, yeah, today is basically going to be a day of dealing with signs and finding little projects in between to do while I'm waiting for paint to dry. I would like to get more of my chicken coop done that kind of got shoved to the back burner with everything else we had going on last year. Uh, realistically, I have two sides that need um, sewed up, so to speak, wired up, and then we're going to put some paneling on the sides. That's my husband's thing. I, we do things differently. Um, if it were up to me, we'd just slap them up there and wire them, but he does things differently. So he's a little more particular about how he wants to do it. So that is a him issue. But if I can get at least all the wire up, then I'm just waiting on him. And um, the way things are going, any projects that require him are pretty much gonna have to wait probably till after the election in May. So he's he's got, we, we just, we have so much going on. We have this, I think this is like our last, one of our last weekends where nothing is going on. We don't have an event, we don't have a sale, we don't have, although I don't think we're taking anything to the sale until these these lambs are weaned. But we have next weekend, the 30th, I guess two weeks, so the Saturday before Easter, we have an Easter egg hunt we're helping out with. I'm actually just going to watch, he has to help out. And then there's two events in April that we need to go to. There's another one in May. Those are the three I know of. And there might be two more. I, I will be glad when this election thing is done. Um, but thankfully, if we can get the signs done and put up this weekend and finish delivering his yard signs, that'll be one less thing we have to worry about which is why I'm trying to get as much done on the signs as I possibly can so that they are ready to go. But in between painting, I'm debating, besides working on the chicken coop a little, if I should be tearing down some fence out here, which I probably should because I my fencing is going to get done this year. We have all the parts, so I have all the fencing, I have all the T-posts, I have everything I need except for the time. So I need to figure out time. But yeah, that's my day. Painting and little projects in between. So I think, now if they start moving toward the gate, I can't stay very long because I left the big gate wide out open that they could like tool right on out. But I think I wanna take from Let's see, where is it? This post. And then all the way down, this whole section needs taken out. So I think that is going to be probably today's project in between everything else. Well, I wish I could say today had been an exciting day, but I literally painted all day. Um, every it, I just kept rotating boards and 
So now it's five o'clock and I need to feed my sheep because they're yelling at me, telling me it's feeding time. So I'm gonna haul my hay, feed my sheep, paint. Let's see, I think I have this, this uh, coat done. So then I need to tape it off and do the next color. So after I'm done feeding, I will go ahead and tape off and keep moving forward as best I can. Not getting, it, it's just slow going. I'm not getting near as far as I would like to. But yeah, it's, um, oh, it's been a day making progress. It's just very slow progress. So let's go check sheep. I have not checked in on them since I fed this morning and, um, I need to, I need some sheep time. I will say feeding goes a lot better when my Oh, hello, beautiful. Oh, please be a girl. Please be a girl. I can keep black girls this year. So you're it, sis. Oh my gosh. Good mom. Just the one? Okay. So you're it, sis. I know. So technically tomorrow is the last lambing date. But I'll give her to the weekend because that'll give us, no, sorry, Sunday was the last slamming date. My three days would be tomorrow, Wednesday. So if she doesn't have one by the weekend, she'll head back in with, sorry, the dogs are pissed that I'm not feeding them yet. Uh, she'll just head back in with Elvis and these other girls. Oh my gosh, you're gorgeous. Okay, let's get her in a jug. I can't remember if I had ever um, explained why she was in there. I think I kind of just like completely overlooked it. So Sunday night, my husband was down here dealing with the signs and feeding and everything else. And the lamb was like dead. He milked out mom and ended up tubing the baby. Got her like two, two tubes, I don't know how much, but of milk from mom. And um, threw the mom in the headlock because she refused to stand and let this, this lamb nurse. Wasn't beating it around, just wouldn't let it nurse. So now baby's nursing. Seems to be doing fine. Haven't had any issues. That was Sunday. Today's Tuesday. Everybody seems happy. But we may let her out for a little bit tomorrow just to see what happens. She's not like kicking the lamb anymore, which she was doing before. I was having to hold a leg so the lamb could get under her. But she's, she's kind of getting it figured out right now. 
Apparently going from behind is the way to do it for this one. And all I care is that she's nursing. So let's get everybody fed. You got plenty of hay. You got more than enough hay. I'm gonna steal some of your hay. But we gotta get everybody fed, everybody watered. Yeah, so we're down to one. Oh my gosh, I am so just, I am in love with this lamb. No, you cannot have her. You have one. You don't need two. One is plenty this year, at least for this go round. Anyway, what I started to say before I got sidetracked by a lamb is that feeding goes so much smoother when my husband hauls me hay for the week because he can haul me enough for basically everybody the whole week um, except for the lambs down at that end of the barn. He usually only hauls me enough for a day. I don't know why, but everywhere else I have enough for the whole week, easily the whole week and then some, but I still have to haul hay down there because I don't have quite enough, but it makes feeding go so much faster that I'm not having to haul all the hay on the pickup by myself for every feeding. It just, it's a time saver. And there are days like today where I don't mind it taking me two hours to feed, but I do have other things. I, I really want to get, if even if I don't get the blue painted on the signs, I want to at least get them taped up so that tomorrow I can do the blue. I think there's three or four. I think it's three. And then I have to prep three more signs tomorrow. So it's gonna be an all week ordeal. And then whatever projects in the meantime I can get to. And today I did not get to any of the projects I thought I was going to. So here's hoping tomorrow will be a better day for projects. That's not just painting his signs. I need a few more people to come volunteer and help. That would, that would make it go a little faster, I think. Mm -hmm.